First off, before I start this video, I want to give a huge thank you to you all for watching my videos and also for those who have subscribed to my channel. One of the things that I set out to do when I started this channel was I didn't want to ask for subscribers. I didn't want to put that subscribe button at the end of a video or anything along those lines. I just kind of felt like if I did the work and the work was okay or good, people would subscribe, people would watch. So it really truly means a lot to me and I just wanted to make that clear. So thank you. So on to today's video. I have had this phone right here, the Galaxy S21 Ultra for precisely 16 days. Now, I just wanted to go over some things that I like about it and just some things to be aware of. I won't say things that I don't like. Um, if you have seen one of my videos before, I don't usually say that because, you know, these things may not be a problem with someone else. Anyway, let's get on to it. So the first thing I am definitely feeling is the feeling of the phone. I just can't get over just how solid the aluminum or metal, whatever material it is, this frame feels like it just, the fact that they made it thicker and it goes into the camera, like it just gives the phone a premium feel that it's never had. There's a heft and a weight to this thing that I appreciate so much, especially coming from Samsung's design. Not to say that Samsung design is bad in any way. It's just, you know, the lightness of the phones uh, of years past wasn't really my favorite thing about them. But they rectified that with the S21 Ultra. So I can definitely say that. The next thing I really like about this phone is its display. Samsung has always had good displays on their devices, but I think the S21 Ultra kicks it up a notch only because of the fact that you can now use the 120 hertz and the full resolution of the display. So the display is definitely a plus for me. It's just, it's a gorgeous display. As you can see, I'm running a video right now of Norway, a place my wife and I hope to visit one day. And just the colors on this thing are, it's, it's amazing. Truly downright amazing. AMOLED I know is not everybody's niche, but if you do like AMOLED, you will be very, very happy with this display. And I can't stress that enough. So the next thing I love about this device is its battery life. Now, I will go ahead and say that I have not experienced battery life this good at all with any phone I've ever owned. And the S21 Ultra has surprised me in this area. I know that there are some articles going around talking about the battery life being bad. Um, I haven't read into those articles at all. However, I will say for me, my battery life has been phenomenal. And I have some screenshots here just to kind of show you what my battery life has been like. So feel free to analyze these. Um, as you can see on this first one over here, it states that I might have nine hours and 40 minutes left. And yes, that's an estimate. And these screenshots are actually taken after my work day. I'm actually using my phone at work. I have some work apps on there that I use uh, while I'm walking around, or I have YouTube music playing uh, music, just regular stuff. I'm using the web browser, things of that sort. And like I said, for my old devices, I've been using these things in the same exact way and I've not gotten this good battery life. Sorry if you heard that in the background. That was the canine member of my family just resting. Greyhounds are awesome. And yeah, as you can see here, the battery life is just really good. And this last one, I just kind of wanted to show you some of the things that I use um, I guess I cut that bottom part off by accident, but you get the idea. So battery life is a plus on the Ultra. A plus on the Ultra. That was a little ploy on words. The next thing I like about this phone a lot is the versatility of its camera. Now, I'm not going to tell you it's the best camera out there because I am not a photographer and I am not someone who can tell you that it is the best camera out there. 
But what I will say, it is the best camera to have with you if you need what it offers, which is that 10 times zoom, that three times zoom, and just the overall color reproduction. Um, of course, AMOLED screen doesn't give true to life, but for me, I would rather go with the aesthetics of what is offered here. So, that being said, I'm going to run a slideshow of the pictures you see here on the screen. And keep in mind, I have not edited any of these. There's no color correction. Some of them may not be at the highest resolution, but I want to give these pictures to you the way that they came. So you can see what this camera is capable of. All right, so maybe these weren't the best pictures I could show you, but hopefully it does give you some idea of what this camera is capable of. So the next thing about the phone that I like, and I say like this time in a very literal sense, like I'm not crazy about it, but I'm glad it's here, is the S Pen functionality. So yeah, you can do things like you have your notepad if you want to where you can just draw on the screen if you double tap while pressing the s pen button uh you also have hold on let's close this the air command options right here um the thing about this though and the reason i say that i only like it is because and i think you saw this in my unboxing it's not the full experience and I think that's something that I'm definitely going to say in my, my in-depth. Um, I think I'll have to probably be biased about that. Um, for one, if you go into the settings, there are no settings. So what was the point of even having this screen here? I don't know. If you want to go back, apparently you can't. If you want to add something like a shortcut here, I found that in order to actually do that without having the settings menu, you have to delete something from here, get that add shortcut button, and then there you can add that. You can add whatever you want. And that's why I kind of say this is, this is something that I like, but it is not on the same level as any of the Note series before it. Now the last thing to say that I really like about this phone is the color. So typically I stay away from getting black or white phones. The colors are just kind of boring for me. But I will say that this phantom black color has actually grown on me a lot. Usually I'm the one to go out there and get that wacky color that Samsung makes or that really, you know, nice color that they make like when the uh, Note nine came in that deep blue with that really really ugly yellow pen or when the Note 20 ultra came in that bronze i just like the color of the phones but that being said and this being a plain color i do like the phantom black it's very very sleek even though it does pick up fingerprints and things of that sort it's it's really really sleek um if the silver came in 256 gigabytes, I probably would have gotten that, but yeah, I have to say, it's definitely really, really nice. So here are some things to be aware of. I told you before, I'm not going to call these negative things because they may not be negative to someone else, but 
these are the things that kind of stick out to me that people should be aware of. So the first one for all of you note users like myself, the S Pen functionality, you really want to be aware of that depending on how you use your S Pen. If you use it every single day and you're expecting every single thing that's there, remember that settings menu that I showed you before, that's not there. Now, this can be corrected with a software update, and I also know that Samsung has something called the S Pen Pro coming out for anybody who is used to having that remote control, but temper your expectations with this. You can use it, but don't expect to use it in the full capacity you're used to using it. The next thing to be aware of is that the phone does not have MST, which means that if you're used to using Samsung Pay and going into a store and having someone tell you, oh, it's not gonna work, and then basically you kind of show them that it is actually gonna work, you can't do that anymore. The store you go to or however you pay, that place has to have NFC. Samsung has removed MST from their phones. Hopefully they'll bring it back in the future if we all complain hard enough. Um, this was a big blow to me, especially in this COVID era, because I don't like putting my credit card or debit card or whatever the heck uh, right through those machines. I just don't believe people clean them in the best ways. But again, like I said, MST, not here. The other thing to be aware of, and I'm pretty sure I said this in my unboxing. If I didn't, I'm saying it now. Um, there is no memory card slot in this device, so you have to make sure that you're choosing the storage that is right for you. As you can see here, um, I have used 164.6 gigs. Let's round that off to about 165, I think. After five, it gets rounded off. Um, and as you can see here, I have less than half left. And when I transferred everything over to this phone, I had... Well, you can see that in my unboxing anyway. Um, I think it was something around 155 gigabytes of stuff on here. So, yeah, no memory card slot, no way to expand storage. They want you to use cloud storage like they always have. The other thing to be aware of is the color palette for these phones. So, there are five colors. And the only one that actually interested me before I got this one, the Phantom Black, was that silver over there. And I feel as if Samsung has been getting lazy. I also don't feel like they're offering a wide array of colors in every place. And I know that someone will probably come back and just tell me, oh, you know, it's based on research, it's based on um, the region. But the thing is, if you want to win or if you want to be just as good as a competitor, you have to order more colors and you just have to offer more colors. You know, you just, it just doesn't make sense as to why they chose these, these very, very bland colors. Like, you know, the Galaxy S6 Edge. I remember when that came out and I saw that emerald green and that was never available in the US. And like I said, I know why they probably won't offer those colors here, but I still don't think it's an excuse. Even the Note 20, which was in that nice red color or any of the red phones, I've always wanted a red phone, but I never got it because Samsung wants to take these really, really bland colors. And I just realized that I offered an opinion when I was trying to not be biased. But anyway, yeah, not really interesting colors. Last thing to be aware of is the fact that you will not get a proper charging kit for your phone. And I know there are probably going to be some people out there who will argue that it's not necessary. But let me tell you why it is. Now, the Galaxy S21 Ultra and arguably some of Samsung's past but current generation phones have been their most compelling offered phones yet. But how are you supposed to capitalize on those features when 
you don't even have a charger to actually use those features. And let's even talk about the fact that there are people who are probably coming from other devices who don't have a charger. And let's face it, with just this USB-C cable, USB-C to C cable, how would someone actually be able to charge their phone if they didn't expect to just have that cable? And, you know, we don't have, you could probably build a modern home these days with those uh, USB type A jacks in the walls and everything, but that still doesn't give you a way to charge your phone. So again, maybe I am being dramatic with this. Maybe it's not even an issue for some, but there are some out there who it will be an issue for. And it's something you really want to be aware of. Like you have to get one of these now. And let's face it, we all know why they did it. Because their main competitor, whose name I will not say, their main competitor did it. If they were offering a charger still, they would start offering a charger again. But now they just kind of figure, hey, yeah, uh, they're not offering a charger. Why should we? Because you're supposed to be different. You don't do the same thing and expect the same result. But again, I guess I offered another opinion. Yeah, that was, I was compelled to do that. But anyway, hopefully this video has shown you some stuff or just give you some insight into what it's like to have the S21 Ultra. I expect to be doing my in-depth very, very soon. However, and I'm not looking forward to this, I have a lot of video editing to do, uh, being that the nature of my videos are in-depth. Um, I like to try to go as in-depth as possible, let people know every single detail that I can and you know I'm not perfect I forget things a lot of times but anyway hopefully this 16 days of Galaxy S21 Ultra has been helpful hopefully I've shown you something let me know what you think about all this stuff down in the comments and uh, as always no matter where you are in the world have a good day or have a good night